Hello everybody, my name is Skylar and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about Ratchet and Clank Web 5. So let's get into it. So the plot goes, Ratchet and Clank go out for pizza and then they get ambushed by a portal and then they go trace the signal. After they trace the signal they discover it's nefarious, then they steal nefarious's portalizer gun. Then they deliver it to the weapons museum, then they see Quark, then he steals it, and then he makes the pizza people come through the portal and attack the city. Ratchet and Clank try to stop the pizza people, then Nefarious comes in and they have to stop him as well. Then Nefarious steals the portalizer and then goes off, and then Ratchet and Clank go and steal it back. And the pizza people go back to their dimension, all is well in the galaxy, and Ratchet and Clank save the day. So that's the plot of it. I thought it was okay. I thought the plot was fine. They could have done better. I did think the special itself, though, was good. I thought it was very funny. The characters were the same as they were. Nefarious was hands down the best part of this. He always is in every game he's in. I think so. And they bring the joke back. You want another one. Zed also makes an appearance, which confused me, but that means this takes place after the movie, which is fine. I said my video yesterday takes place before Rift Apart, which I was wrong, and I am sorry for that. Quark is Quark. He's funny. He's stupid. He wants everything for himself. So, yeah. Ratchet and Clank are pretty much Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet's character arc in it, though, he, he's hungry. He just wants pizza. That's it. Clank is himself. He's adorable. I love him. Huh. Ratchet, though, did seem a little bit off to me, but other than that, he was fun. His personality was off, is what I mean. Like, he's Ratchet, but he acts different, I guess, than the movie version. But it's whatever. I enjoyed his character. They introduced two new characters, Bruce, who's in, who gets turned into a sheep, and he's only in the episode for like 10 minutes, or sorry, 10 seconds, and Cardboard Cutout Quark, who is my favorite Ratchet and Clank character now. Yes, I want more of Cardboard Cutout Quark right now. But that is pretty much for the characters, though. As for referencing these Easter eggs, they had a few in this, and I enjoyed them. There's a couple references to the references to the first game which are mainly weapons one is the taunter, Try the taunter. <laughs> and the suck cannon which i enjoyed the joke for that by the way and you ratchet you suck huh <laughs> what <laughs> the suck cannon they also referenced the hollow knuckles from secret agent clank which i wouldn't think get um Reference, but it's nice to see Clint get his own little fight scene. Activate. Headshot. Even the sheep helps him. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> a couple future weapons also get referenced, like the warmonger and the buzz blades. And you can see a couple in the background, like the magnet launcher, and I think the decryptor. I'm not sure. The Groovertron also makes an appearance, which is always a fun time. It's up. <laughs> the Groovertron? I've determined that this weapon will provide the greatest probability of success. Nope. Better than nothing. Get ready to shake your groove thing. But that's really all for the weapon. Of course, Ratchet uses his wrench though, and there's that. But yeah, that's it for that. Apparently, this was a test pilot made in 2019. People are saying that this was supposed to be a movie sequel, but they just made it into a short. And personally, to me, it feels like they got some ideas from Ripped Apart Insomniac Games. Um, they got some ideas from the short for Ripped Apart, which I'm okay with. Unless they thought about the plots at the same time, I don't know, but that's just what I think. But, now do not quote me on this news, but... 
their sources saying that this is a pilot for a 26 episode animated series of Ratchet and Clank, which I am all really happy and excited for. I don't know if this is true or not, but I hope it really is. And I'm happy we got this to tie us over until Rift the Park comes out. But anyways, that's all I really have to say for today in this video. That's my review, my thoughts on the special. And I hope everybody watching this has a nice day. See ya.